right, so what we're going to do is on the desktop, uh, we're going to open this program here called Epson Scanner. All right, so go ahead, Dan. You're, uh, all right, and do you have a card over there? Just, uh, yeah, grab yours over there. All right, so the actual scanner is on the right side. Doesn't matter. All right, you good, Brendan? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so you're going to put it in. It doesn't matter which side you put it in. Um, but it does go flat, it has to fit inside the glass there. All right, so now you're gonna close the cover, all right? And then on your computer, we're gonna go and change the mode of the scanner. Look at it inside the glass there. All right, so now you're gonna close the cover, all right? And then on your computer, we're gonna go and change the mode on the scanner. That's probably all you have to really record there, Brendan. Or customize? Uh, change from mode from full to professional. You can stop recording, Brendan. Okay. I just wanted people to see the scanner and, and putting it in there, opening yeah, and closing yeah. the cover. Where do you All want right. me to email that to? Um, you can email it to me or put it in the shared folder. Yeah, I'll throw it in the shared folder. All right, so now we're going to go over to this button here that says Preview. So what this is going to do is take a low-resolution image just for placement. All right, so, again, so kind of in review, you're going to put your, your document in the scanner face down. You're going to open the software in professional mode. You're going to preview it. And now you're going to draw a box around the part that you want to be scanned. All right, so. You have to be super accurate. No, because you can always crop it afterwards. It's better to have more than less, right, because you can always trim it off. All right, so now we have, we told the software where are the areas that we want to scan. And then we're going to press scan. All these settings should be um, correct in that it's uh, color, it's 300 resolution, all right, and then so you're going to press scan, and then it should be set up that it's going to go, actually no, uh, right now I can see up here it's going to the desktop, so Danny, press other, under, on the left side here where it says, above where it says file name, there's un, underneath pictures, there's a dot that says other. Shared multimedia scans. And I may even have a subfolder within there. So right, so shared data, keep going. Multimedia. Multimedia classic. Yep. And then scans. Uh, and then actually I did make one in there, Thanksgiving cards. Alright, and then so you're gonna and hopefully. I think it should stay on that once the first person is done with that. So press OK. And then where it says prefix underneath there, just write your name there, where it says IMG. That way you can find it a little easier. All right, press OK. And it's going to scan that in. All right, so it doesn't take too long. Um, what's nice about the scanner, too, you could enlarge uh, an image. If you put your percentages higher, or you can change the color mode right as you're scanning. All right, so the front side's done. You'll just repeat the process for the back. So open the cover, flip it over, uh, preview, select the area, and then scan. You don't, or an inside, I mean? Yeah. No inside? Yeah. All right, well, that would be, uh, you would repeat that for that. All right.